Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at the last of these Collect A Prehistoric Tubes, and this one is one that I'm probably going to have some problems with because it is filled with prehistoric marine animals, and I am not your most knowledgeable man when it comes to prehistoric marine animals. I mean, I've got a few under my belt, but probably the majority of this set I'm going to have no idea about because I really don't look too far into a lot of prehistoric marine animals. I really feel like I should as I'm really quite interested in them, but I'm always more focused on pretty much everything else when it comes to like dinosaurs and pterosaurs and all that fun stuff. Some marine animals I've really taken a liking to and I am a huge fan of marine prehistoric models. However, again, quite a few of these I am not going to know too much about, so I do apologize ahead of time if I butcher the names on any. However, I'm still super excited to take a look at these, so let's break this open and see what species we have included. So this one I think is called a lead Sithis, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking Acrotorosaurus will probably and hopefully correct me in the comments when it comes to the pronunciation of a lot of these species as he is pretty much the most knowledgeable human being alive when it comes to anything prehistoric. So I will be looking for your comments in the comment section to let me know that I've screwed up the names on probably a lot of these. We've also got a Sifactinus which uh, is really cool actually because I don't really recall there ever being too many models of that. I actually didn't even realize that Collecte had one. I thought the only one previously was the one that was included in the Pegasus Hobbies Spinosaurus kit where the Spinosaurus was eating one. So that's really, really cool to have another option of that species. So a Sefactinus is awesome. Then we've got a Temnodontosaurus. We've also got a Pliosaurus. Really, really nice looking Pliosaurus. We've got a Dunkleosteus. I love that they all have a very wet look to them too. They're all very glossy and shiny looking. This one I have no idea. Diplomaceras or something? Diplomaceras? I'm not sure. Again, I don't know anything about this. I don't know if I've ever even seen that before. So that's very, very weird looking. And here is a Chimeraceras or Chimeracuras. I'm not sure again. I am really unfamiliar. Specifically with this type of uh, marine animal, I don't know very much at all about any of these kind. I'm more of like the marine reptile kind of guy when it comes to prehistoric marine animals. Then here is a Baculites or something along those lines. Again, I told you guys I would butcher probably most of the names of these as I've not even heard of probably 90% of this set which really shows you just how cool and how obscure a lot of the species are. Here is a Parapazosia, an Astralosiras, an Olenoides, and the Archelon. So we've got the very famous, very prehistoric sea turtle. So again, I promised you guys I would butcher the names of most, and I'm sure I did. Again, as I said before, Acrotorosaurus, I will hopefully get a response from you telling me just how terrible of a job I did at pronouncing these, and you can correct me so in the future I will know exactly how to say the names of most of these species. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at them. So because I'm really interested in this one, I believe I said it was the Diplomaceras or something along those lines would be how you would say it. I want to take a nice look at him. You can see he's definitely very cool looking, very nicely sculpted and really beautifully painted. It is like a light green, but it appears to have been given a green, like a darker green wash throughout, really making that detail pop out at you. That looks very nice. And then you get up here onto the head and the head is a yellowish color. It's also very nicely sculpted. The eyes appear to be painted perfectly. They have a very nice gloss to them as well. So that is a huge plus as far as this figure goes. Such a very strange looking creature. It's a very interesting species and I'm really quite interested in it now. That's one thing that's very cool about Collect A is they bring a lot of obscure species to my attention that I've never even heard of before and then they get me interested. They really grab my attention and I look it up and I kind of read up on them. And this is one species that I will definitely be doing that with because I'm really quite intrigued in it now. Very strange looking, but really beautifully done. And this one is the Baculites, or Baculites. Uh, again, I'm not positive, but I really like this one as well. I think the paint application is really beautiful. You can see up here, 
in this area that you've got lots of color variation really nicely airbrushed on it really looks beautiful and the actual uh, I guess it would be like the shell area of this is really nicely done as well really beautifully sculpted the eyes again just like the last one appear to be painted very nicely they've pretty much hit the nail right on the head as far as the eye placement goes and there doesn't appear to be any type of real sloppiness at all nicely glossed as well so another very beautiful looking model Look at that, that's very cool looking also. So this one's really, really nice as well, just like the last one. And keeping up with the trend of this style of species, this is the Camarasiras, and uh, also very cool. I really like the combination of the brown and green together. It gives it such a very cool looking appearance. Again, the body is really beautifully sculpted. Lots of very nice, very fine detailing. It does appear to only be that one solid color of brown but it still looks really nice and same goes for the area of the body right here it's just kind of this green there's no real color tones or anything to it but it still looks really really nice as far as the sculpt goes it's beautiful the eye placement is again perfect it looks like on both sides giving a nice gloss as far as the eyes go and it really really looks very nice very cool beautifully highly detailed and the paint application on this one isn't quite as nice I think as the other two, but it's still pretty good. Definitely nothing to complain about. Then we've got the Australoceras, which is a very, very strange looking creature. And I really like this figure of it. Beautifully done as far as the sculpting goes. It's got a very cool appearance to it. You can see the mouth right there. Nicely painted with a white coloration to really make that kind of beak-like mouth jump out at you. And you can even see the detail and sculpt on the underside here is really, really beautifully done. Nicely painted eyes once again, beautiful gloss really helping to make them glisten very realistically but the whole body in general you can kind of see has a nice wet look to it which is very cool as well. I also like the upper body here as far as the white coloration and then it's kind of been dry brushed with like an orange which really makes it jump out at you and just looks super cool. That paint application is really well done and very very nice. I love the overall appearance of this figure. Even from a distance, it just looks super, super cool. So this is probably my favorite so far. Then we've got what I believe is the Parapazosia. And again, probably butchered the name, but this also looks super, super awesome. You can see the inside of the uh, body here where the mouth is. Looks really, really nice. The mouth is painted with like an orange color, which is a slightly different shade from the orangey brown that we get all over this general vicinity. The eyes actually have a white coloration with a black pupil, which is different compared to anything that we've seen previously in this set. They've all kind of had just pure black eyes, so that's very cool. The overall sculpting, again, is really, really nice. You can also see a beautiful wet look as far as the shine and the glisten goes of this animal all together. And the body up here is really beautifully done again with a black and yellow. And I just love that striped appearance, similar to what we saw in the last one with that orange and white, but this time it's black and yellow and it really, really looks super flashy, super cool, but at the same time, very realistic looking something I could probably see this animal being. So Collect A has done just an excellent job on these. And now this one has probably taken the place as far as my favorite. And now this guy, I'm not sure how to say his name either, the Olenides or something along those lines. Again, if any of you are a little more familiar with these species than I am, which I'm obviously not too familiar at all, please in the comments let me know exactly how you do pronounce these species because they are all so obscure and so off the wall that I am just having the toughest time when it comes to the pronunciation of these animals. This one is really, really cool looking, especially from the underside. Look how oddly creepy looking that is. But the overall paint application is beautiful. I love the nice white center here, and it beautifully transitions to a brown as you get out closer to the legs. And then you can see it gets to even a darker brown on the edges, which then you turn it over and you can see the legs are all that dark brown, like a burnt umber brown and really makes that area stick out to you. Beautifully painted eyes on this one as well. Again, giving a very nice gloss. And I love the overall body coloration. And when it comes to like the tones of color, you can actually see quite a few variations of brown are included. So as far as paint application goes, I feel like this one is definitely one of the most realistic. Although the last few have really, really been beautiful. Actually, kind of all of them. So the set overall, as far as the paint apps go, is really impressive 
along with the obscure species and the sculpt work. These are all fantastic. And here's one I was really intrigued to see, the Zephactinus, because you really don't see models of this figure ever, and I'm super excited that Collect Day has made one here. You can see as far as the body goes, there's not too much in the way of detailing, something I'm not used to when it comes to Collect Day, as their marine animals are normally very highly detailed, and it's not to say that this one's not the face area, specifically is really really beautifully detailed but I feel like the body is really really oddly smooth for being a collect a figure however the paint application is really nicely done on it very realistically done you can actually see that the inside of the mouth is painted and you also have some nicely painted teeth beautifully painted eye there on both sides and again it's given a very nice gloss very nice sheen giving it a very realistic wet look so it's a beautiful representation of this species. And here is the Dunkleosteus, which we know that Collecte has recently, or probably about a year or two ago, released a beautiful deluxe Dunkleosteus, which was just one of the best Dunkleosteus figures ever. So this mini version is really, really nicely done as well. It has a very beautiful looking paint scheme, some pretty nicely done detail, but again, it kind of has a uh, very smooth appearance to it for the most part. But if you look at it actually even in the fins here as I turn it, you can definitely pick up on some of the finer detailing and sculpt. I really like the color scheme, I love the yellow underside, and it beautifully transitions to that gray up on the top, very naturally transitions. Nicely painted eyes, again I think the eyes have been really on point with most if not all of the figures in this set. So the Dunkleosteus is definitely very nicely done, the plates in the front of the mouth are a little bit sloppy, but they're not that bad. Overall I think this is a fantastic miniature version of a Dunkleosteus. Then we've got the Temnodontosaurus, which is a very cool minifigure as well. This one does also have kind of that smooth type of a body, but you can definitely pick up on some of the finer details here and there. Nicely painted eyes, beautifully painted teeth. The teeth actually don't really have too much in the way of sloppiness at all, and that's impressive considering how small that mouth is. I mean, there's a little bit that's run under the lower jaw, but not much at all beautifully painted eye yet again. It's got kind of a plain Jane type of a paint scheme where it's just one solid color really. Maybe a few very slight differences in color but not too much at all that you can really pick up on. It does look really really nice and again has that beautiful gloss. So it's a very nice rendition of this species. Just there's not too much in the way of paint application on this one. Then this one is the Lead Sithis I believe it's called or something along those lines. I actually don't know anything at all about this species. But what I do know is that the actual figure here by Collect A is really beautiful looking. Definitely very nicely done. Looks very realistic. You can kind of pick up on some hints of like some darker coloration kind of speckled here and there within. Some very nice fine detailing, beautifully painted eyes. The inside of the mouth looks very nice. There's a beautiful pinkish coloration in there. Nice light coloration on the underside which is exactly what you would expect on a fish. And then a very dark upper body. Really beautiful as far as the paint application, it's kind of like a dark blue to it. Looks really, really beautiful, and uh, I think they've done a very good job on this one. This one's definitely one of my favorites, for sure, of this set. And just like the others, it's got a beautiful, glossy look to it to give it that very genuine wet look. Then we've got the Pliosaurus, and you can see that this one also looks really, really nice. Very nicely painted teeth, there's a little bit of sloppiness on them, but that's kind of to be expected on these very small minifigures as I'm sure it's tough to paint the mouths of those. Very nice detailing, again a little bit of a smoother body but it still looks really really nice actually and you can really see the nice curves of the body showing the body shape and the bone structure of the animal really beautifully without being shrink wrapped. I think that looks very very nice. Nice detailing overall, beautiful paint scheme. It's not anything overly flashy, it's very basic, but it looks good. It's a very nice coloration of gray, beautifully painted eyes. This is a very, very nice figure as well. This whole set is just absolutely awesome. It's jam-packed with just beautiful marine animals. And then the final is the Archelon, and I'm going to go ahead on go on record and say that this is probably my favorite, because for some reason we just don't ever get figures of the Archelon, like, ever, for some reason. I don't know why. I think maybe there's been, like, one or two in the past, but that's been a long time ago. There hasn't been much at all in years, so it's very cool to see one here from Collect A. But in general, I think the sculpt and paint application on this one is probably the best out of the bunch when it comes to the overall realism. 
it looks very realistic. It's got like this dark brown and then kind of has like some black speckled throughout and you can really see the browns and darker black colorations and everything really beautifully meshing together throughout the flippers and everything and all over the head, all over the upper body. It really looks fantastic and then you get to the underside and you've got that lighter underbelly and the beautiful darker coloration here on the flippers as well. So I think this one really is fantastic along with all of them honestly but this guy's probably my favorite. And like I've done with the other minifigures I'm not going to measure each one individually. I will hold the tape measure over top so you can get a good idea of just how incredibly small these minifigures are. And then I will, as always, give you a size comparison with our buddy, the Green Papo Rex. Once again, giving you an idea of just how incredibly small these minifigures are. So showing you them next to the Papo Rex should just really give you a whole new level of respect when it comes to how incredibly beautifully sculpted and painted these minifigures are. Considering their very tiny stature, it is really impressive to me just how good of a job Collect Day continuously does on these minifigures. And our Papo Rex here is helping to show you just how tiny these are, but yet just how beautiful these are. So this is the final as far as the current Collect Day tubes go that Collect Day does have out when it comes to prehistoric animals. This is the final one, and I am really, really impressed by this set. I'm actually really impressed with all of them, but I think one of the most impressive factors about this set specifically is just how many species are included in this that we have not had larger scale models of from Collect Day in the past. I think the only ones that we've really had from Collect Day would be the Temnodontosaurus, the Pliosaurus, and the Dunkleosteus because I don't recall any other of these, or at least not that I can remember. I mean, there's probably a chance that maybe one has slipped through my radar and I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure that those are the only ones that have ever had larger scale models. So that is one thing that is awesome about this set as opposed to the other three is the fact that you get so many obscure species, but you also get so many species that otherwise you don't have a figure from Collect Day unless you purchase this tube set. So that is a huge plus overall for this set as opposed to the others. I think that this set in general is filled with so many cool different species that it's automatically a surefire win just by looking at the list of animals included. But if you actually look at the models in general, they are all absolutely beautiful. They really are. They're very highly detailed. They all have a very realistic paint scheme. I can't see any of them that I would think uh, looking at them and say, well, that's not very natural. That's not something I could see that being. I think they all just kind of hit the nail right on the head with each and every one of them as far as their paint schemes and in general the paint applications are all really quite nice as well. Not maybe quite as nice as you see on the larger scale figures but still really really nicely done and in general very realistically done. I think all the paint applied really looks natural as well. It all generally looks like the real body color of those animals. So that is another huge plus as far as the overall realism factor of this set. In general, the sculpts are all very highly detailed as well. I think some of the marine reptiles or fish could have maybe used a little bit more as far as the sculpting of the smaller details go, but considering the sheer size of these figures and how incredibly small they are, it does not surprise me at all that they didn't include too much in the way of sculpt work for these smaller details, and I think what they have included really is about all that was needed and definitely makes this set just awesome overall. Every single one of these are all beautiful. There's not a single figure that I can see in this set that I would not completely flat out say is just fantastic. Every single one is awesome. So if you do want this set and I highly, highly recommend it, I will include a link in the description for you to pick this up on either Amazon.com or EverythingDinosaur.com. Either way, wherever you buy it from, trust me when I tell you, you won't regret buying it and you should definitely go ahead and purchase this set right now. So go ahead, click those links in the description and buy yourself this incredible prehistoric marine animal set from Collect A. But before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell down there to be notified of any future videos and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.